My name is Mary Gressock, and my main art form is music. Today, I'd like to talk about why the arts are valuable in vocabulary development. Playing with words through the arts can be a very powerful and effective way to reinforce vocabulary that children are learning and to, new, and to learn new words as well. The arts can motivate children to become curious and very excited about exploring new words and reinforcing old words. The arts can offer so many different kinds of experiences which reach many different kinds of learners. I have a workshop called Wild About Words in which we have a lot of experiences which link vocabulary building with the arts and I'd like to share one with you. This is called Living Theme-Based Words. And what I first do is we have fun with our, our sparkly treasure word box here, and um, we sing a song to find the treasure in the classroom. And once we do, one child will open it up and take out a picture. And we talk about what do we see in this picture? Snow, snowman, what type, what kind of season are we seeing here? Winter. So we brainstorm, what kind of words remind you of winter? And they'll come up with snow, what they see here, and things that they might do during the winter time. So we have some more pictures here, and I'll have the children come up individually and take out a picture and decide, does it belong with winter or not? And I mix them up so somebody might come up with this kind of a picture and we'll decide no that's not really winter time where we live so we'll put it back and what I did here these are some of the other pictures that they might come up with and if it does fit into winter we'll put it up and then the fun begins we use our imaginations and we decide hmm let's go out for a walk in that snowy winter weather and put our snow coat on and our pants on and our hat and our mittens and then we go walking through the snow 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 walking through the snow and then we stop we stop because we see some ice skaters so let's put on our ice skates and we will go skating on the ice 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 skating on the ice and then we stop because we see on sledders and we get on our sled on our bottoms and sledding through the snow 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 sledding through the snow and then we stop Ooh, it's getting really cold out here in the snowy weather that's during the winter time let's go home and get some hot chocolate so we stand up and we go walking through the snow, 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 walking through the snow, and now we're home where it's nice and warm. And that was just a very short experience where they learn about words that are all theme related to winter, as you can see. We sang and we role played and we were verbally saying the words as well and linking the arts to this vocabulary. So whenever you are deciding to pick out some words to introduce to your children in your classroom, think about how many different ways can you explore that word? Can you use some singing to it? Can you act it out? Can you move to it? Just think of as many ways as you can, and that will reach many different kinds of learners.